Hello all. Good morning, good evening or good afternoon. Based on wherever you are. So I was discussing with one of my fellow colleagues around performance and then I noticed that I have never talked about it in my YouTube channel. So today we'll talk about something called as auto profiler or enhancement to profiler which is used to kind of check the performance of your business central in different areas. Now let's go back a little bit into the history. In version 2021 release wave 2 aka BC19, Microsoft added performance profiler in business central. Now and we talked about it in version 19 so let me just quickly show you the video. Here is the video where we talked about it, which is how you use, how you set up performance profiler. And it was so easy that you can search it from here and then set it up, right? Now, as it was available and we recommended our customers to use it because it was more customer driven, it was still causing, uh, it had certain limitation that it was more developer focused and needed a technical assistance from developers to set it up and do things. It is still a great tool. And in the latest release or the prior release, BC25, Microsoft did made some enhancement into the performance profiler so that it's make it becomes easier for consultants, users to run it. Now let's typically think about a performance issue. You might see a performance issue while running an object, typically a page or a report. Or you might see a performance issue when you're performing an action, like posting a certain document, analyzing certain things. Now, it has been seen that in most of the situation, it either happens to a particular user or during a certain duration of the time, let's say between 11 a.m. to 12 a.m., this particular process runs very slow. Now, engaging a developer exactly at the, that moment can become a little bit trickier. So this is what has been enhanced for customers and power administrator to set it up. So with Business Central 25 and in future, in addition to whatever existed uh, in the prior release, you will be able to start creating different profiles for performance recording and then stop the profiler to analyze the result. So it's a new rule-based scheduling mode for capturing profiles in the background. Now there are other limitations or features which are not available in the prior uh, profile, performance profiler and we'll see that. So how you do that? Uh, let's get into it and let's see a demo of it. Hopefully this is visible. I'll zoom this in as much as I can. 100 seems to be a good number. Yeah, 110. Okay. Now let's search for something called as profile schedules. Okay. Yes, profile schedules. Now when you open profile schedules, it is a page where you can start setting up things. Now what you have to do is when you have to capture a profile, you need to create a new profile schedule which opens up a card page which have different options. Now the first one is, is it enabled or not at this moment? At what time it starts, you can define the start time as well as the end time of this. And the description is kind of the unique name, okay? Now the filtration criteria is it requires a user, which user you want it to run for. So we'll say, okay, sort of then is the user who's reporting an issue. And then the interesting part is, is where you specify the activity type. Now let's run, read the rule tip. It says the type of activity for which the schedule has been created. What are the options? The first default option is activity in the browser, which means when user is using the client. The other one is background task. And last but not least is web service calls. So it gives you background task 
as well as activity that's happening on the browser for this demo we'll use activity in the browser if you are interested in seeing other options let me know into the comments and we'll short talk talk about it going down there are other options which is sampling frequency now let's read about it it's actually let's see the frequency at which the profiler will sample data so when it is capturing the data during that particular start day, start time and end time you can choose how it need to kind of record the data into it how frequently the options are 50 millisecond 100 millisecond and 150 millisecond then it is activity duration threshold which specifies the minimum duration for which the profile is saved and this is in millisecond and the retention period is how long you would like this data to be captured after this point the data of that particular activity will be deleted by default it seems to be set to one week i don't think you can change it oh it's already defined here for that scheduler to be one week and then after one week those records will automatically get deleted once you have set this up um let's do this so this example kind of gives you a time frame when you want to start it so let's say if you want to start it for 10 days you can change it from here to 7 days to 31st right so then the scheduler will kind of start recording that activity during that week or during that hour so i'm keeping it for an hour right now and i'm enabling it as soon as i enable it it automatically behind the scenes start recording whatever you are doing in the client which is similar to your performance profiler so let's try doing something okay and i'm not doing big things um just let's say opening the customer card okay and you can sense that if there are problems around it it's kind of recording all those activity let's pick up a customer and from here let's see everything looks good let's go into okay history and then item tracking entries or ledger entries okay here we are and this point and remember if that particular activity that you're doing is taking the time that is more than the sampling frequency that you have set only on those cases the system will record the data then i can do let's say find entries it is taking a little bit of time to count the record in this particular payment okay and then i can see how many gl entries are there so you have navigated let's assume that area where we see a performance issue in that time once we are done with it we'll go back and open that page again so let's search for performance profiles okay now if you notice there are two entries that has been created based on whatever activity that we did now these activity say when it was started uh, for both activity who is the user what is the activity type it is in the browser it also provides you a description what was it done the layout for page customer list was retrieved and if you notice the customer list was opening a little bit slower than expected and then the navigate action on customer ledger entry where i was trying to see how many associated fine entries actions when i click on this that also took some time which is the, the first one took 3 seconds and the second one took 6 seconds and some milliseconds it also tells you how much al execution duration for that and then it tells you the schedule id and all but not that it wait here if you are if you have seen that now if i try to open this it'll open my old performance profile the screen that was introduced in version 19 and it tells me based on which app have taken how much time So if you look at it right now it tells you that majority of time which is 859 millisecond was taken by the base app then there was a system app and then there's some time taken by the system app and then there is a dynamic gp historical data 
which you may not be using if you are a business central customer directly if you're coming from gp it might be relevant but for me as a pure bc uh, customer i might not need this extension which is taking 100 milli 110 millisecond so if you don't want you can remove it because now you see that okay this is slowing down my system at some uh, you know with some uh, time not just that you can see the technical information also which again shows you the same graph of uh, the different apps involved in that process now think about a pde and no offense but a bad extension or a bad coded in somewhere which is slowing down the system you will notice that that particular extension is taking majority of time while executing the code that you executed and that will directly tell you that this is the problem coming down here you'll also notice that there is a time spent by application object so it'll tell you how much time each of the application object which was invoked when you are doing that is recorded here based on shorted based on the time spent so the majority of time was taken to open to get the sales and receivable setup which is needed when you do certain things okay what else okay then there is a call tree now the call tree uh, is the code that's executed when you clicked on certain actions so when you click on something this happened and that happened all that gets recorded in different call tree so this tells you how the code being called when different actions were clicked now what do you do with this info if it's a very straightforward thing that you know that okay there's some particular app which is taking a lot of time which should not be taking and which is not from microsoft or maybe from microsoft you can either report to the right partner who can utilize that info to use it or if you want to share this insight with your partner saying okay partner i have done my part now at this point i would like you to analyze this further plain enough simple enough what you can do is you can download that info so what i can actually do is i can download this file which contains some sensitive data which i've downloaded here and i'll open it on my other screen now let's take an example that partner is doing something for an indian customer and he is on his uh, own sandbox you know on his developer sandbox where he's but he's in an indian sandbox now remember the thing that we ran was on a north american database on a us database this is what we are running right now and the developer whom i'm dealing with is actually into a indian sandbox or a indian localization sandbox what he can do is he can go to performance profiler okay as you can see as it loads that there's nothing at this moment it's completely empty because there's no action has been taken around it right so it's completely plain and blank it's taking a little bit of time our indian sandbox is low let me know into the comments but let's see once it loads you'll see that there's nothing but he as a developer have an option or you also have an option to upload a file now you can just drag that file which i got uh from there or if you don't like that let me try to choose it for you okay this is the performance profiler which i just downloaded and boom what actually happened is he didn't need a copy of your environment or he didn't need a sandbox to kind of see what's happening you can utilize this file on his system and see what you have recorded exactly same nothing changes even if he's on a different sandbox or a different environment all the info that he is getting or she is getting at this moment is coming from the file that you have provided him now if i'm not wrong i should be able to open this file into let me see uh, okay let me open vs code and if i'm not wrong i can also open this file into my vs code so this is my vs code if i'm a developer i get that file from you i'm not opening a project right now okay okay so let me try to open the file 
from downloads. I can click that file and I open this. Okay. Now as a developer, your partner developer can see the same code in the language that he or she understands. He's a developer, he might relate to this rather than looking at the file that is shown on the client. So you are giving all the insights that needed for a developer to perform his activity without wasting his or her time while you know where the problem is and when your code slows down. Now this is a tool built for functional consultant, power users and users of Business Center to record performance issues and then share it those insights with the customers, with their partners. So let me know what you think about this video. You know the drill at this moment. If you like the content, hit the like button. If you think this is shareable and your fellow colleagues, uh, customers and partners should know about it, share this on social media. If you haven't and if you want, then please do subscribe to the channel. As you know that I have started a new journey and we are open for business either for upgrade, uh, you need our support in performance, in development, or in trainings, please reach out to us at info at ethatheconsulting.com and we'll be happy to help you. So I'll see you sooner than later into the other video in something about business center. Till then, you know what to do. Keep learning and keep sharing whatever you're learning. Thank you and have a nice day.